Hey, it's Mike, and I want to talk about Berkshire Hathaway because Berkshire Hathaway probably had one of the biggest days of the year for them. I'm just looking at the Class B shares. They're up over 5%. Um, as you know, Berkshire Hathaway stock has not been the best performing stock. However, over you know a long-term period, Berkshire Hathaway stock tends to outperform the S&P when you look at rolling five-year periods. Um, it may not have been the case for the last five years, but just like almost every five-year period, Berkshire Hathaway tends to outperform the S&P 500 over a five-year period. And the big day that it had on um, Monday was really due to the the buybacks that uh, Berkshire Hathaway has been doing. They did $9 billion worth of buybacks during the third quarter. And what's unusual is that Warren Buffett has usually shunned buybacks, hasn't really done any buybacks in the past 40 years. And all of a sudden now, he did 5.1 million in the second quarter, 9 billion in the third quarter. Who knows if it's going to continue in the fourth quarter, but it's really helping the stock. And they even said that they're going to buy repurchase shares at 100%, 110% of their book value. So, does this mean that maybe uh, Warren Buffett sees something that there's now a big opportunity in value stocks? I think there's a possibility. I mean, you saw yesterday, uh, I just did a video on the ARK Innovation ETF. Uh, that was down four and a half percent, while traditional, more traditional value stocks like Coca-Cola, um, Exxon, they, they're all up, and they're, they're even more value stocks that are up. So maybe we're seeing um, a rotation here. Who knows? I, I personally do not think like your your basic like your Amazons, your Apples, and Teslas have become overvalued. Maybe they just need to pull back a little bit because they've gotten overheated, especially with the big run-up we've had in the past five days. However, I will say if you want like a conservative investment, uh, Berkshire Hathaway's a great company. You're not going to get big performance. I mean, you look at the year to date. Uh, let's see, it started out at uh, 43. It's at 45. I mean, that's a 5% return. Um, the S&P 500 for the year, I think if they've returned five percent, let's take a look with the it's at 324, 350 has returned about 10 percent. So you gain out performance of the S&P 500. However, if you if you if you need to sleep at night, you know the the Berkshire, the Class Bs or whatever, you could you definitely will want to consider using those. And the great thing is, even though the stock here says 4500, um, you can buy the fractional shares if you're on uh, Robinhood or Webull, so you don't have to worry about the big share price. However, it is interesting. I, I, I wonder if Berkshire will be able to continue to do uh, long-term outperformance of the S&P 500. We'll wait and see, but right now, um, pretty interesting time to look at Berkshire Hathaway. Maybe they'll be able to make a comeback uh, next year since it looks like uh, the S&P is going to beat them this year. Maybe next year they'll do better. So just to so give you an update on Berkshire Hathaway, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and like it. And if you want more videos like this, I do uh, updates on everything from penny stocks to EV stocks, value stocks. I also talk about options and option trading strategies. Go ahead and subscribe and turn on notifications. Okay, thanks. Bye.